It all started when Einstein and Hawking were hanging out near a black hole's event horizon. But black hole was hungry and sucked Einstein in. Hawking, however, managed to escape. Scientists were surprised by Hawking's great escape from the black hole and called it Hawking radiation. But what is Hawking radiation? Well, Einstein had the same question. So, tell me about Hawking radiation. Black holes have a boundary called event horizon. Think of it as a river that ends in a waterfall, where after a certain point, stream gets so fast that you can't escape. Nothing can escape a black hole after event horizon. In 1970s, scientists wondered if black holes emit radiation, and that's when everything got blurry. But how does a black hole emit radiation? In fact, how can something escape a black hole? To understand why, let's go back to 1927. When Heisenberg proposed this equation, which besides stating that larger the energy of a particle, lower its time of existence and vice versa, also states that energy in empty space can never be zero, as that would violate this equation. This results in quantum fluctuation, aka spontaneous creation and annihilation of virtual particle-antiparticle pairs. What would happen if virtual particle-antiparticle pair is created near an event horizon? Near an event horizon, virtual antiparticle gets sucked in, while virtual particles escape. These virtual particles borrow energy from the black hole and convert into real particles like electrons and photons and constitute Hawking radiation. At a very slow rate, as energy is taken from the black hole, it loses its mass because E equals mc square, which implies energy is proportional to mass. And as its mass decreases, its temperature increases due to this equation. So, as it shrinks, it emits with even greater intensity. And then the time comes when it emits for the last time and evaporates by scattering its enriched guts into nothingness. However, this process is extremely slow. And when the last mystery monster evaporates, none of us will be here to witness it. But remember, black holes ain't as black as they are painted. And that is amazing.